Hi, and welcome to a PowerShell quick tip video. In the last quick tip video, we took a look at creating some very simple GUI pop-ups for our scripts to get some like user interaction or to alert the user of certain things. There is another way that we can actually bring up to the user that certain actions are completed or maybe there's errors going on. And that is actually through a notification um, at the bottom right. So you might have already seen these from Windows, but we can actually create these with PowerShell as well. And this can be very useful to maybe notify the user, especially if you have scripts that are running in the background, maybe to let you know that the script is done or let you know that it's encountered an error and that you might want to go check up on it or to tell you that it's actually doing things as it's doing them. Uh, maybe you want to be alerted with just a simple little notification so you can see kind of the simple progress that it's actually making. There are tons of use cases for this. So let's go ahead and let's actually get started on how to create these little notifications in PowerShell. So the first thing we're going to have to do is bring in our assembly to create this notification icon. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do an add dash type and we're going to bring in the assembly name of system.windows.form. So we've seen this one before. It's very similar to our GUIs exactly. And then what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna create a global variable here. And we are going to just go ahead and create that as N-O-T-I-F for notification. Um, the actual name is a balloon message. So you can definitely put like a bal MSG or something like that. But we're gonna make that equal to a new object. And we're gonna make that object a system.windows.forms.notify icon. And then what we actually wanna do for our notification is we wanna tell the user what is actually generating this notification this is very useful because the user might not know that the powershell script is supposed to generate messages so at least if you put in your your notification that it's coming from powershell with the little powershell 7 logo that will definitely assist them in knowing exactly where it's coming from um, there's definitely a lot of other ways that you could make it seem that it's definitely coming from that script but let's go ahead and let's start with that so the first thing we're going to want to do is get the path of the current process that we're executing. So we're going to create a variable called path and we're going to make that equal to get process. And we're going to look for the ID of dollar sign PID, which is a variable that's already built into PowerShell here. So if we actually go ahead and we look at this, we will actually get our current PowerShell process. So all we're going to do is we're going to wrap this in parentheses and do a dot path. And this will actually take us to the path of our PowerShell EXE that's running this code in the back end here. So now that we have our path, what we actually want to do is associate that path into our, our notification, which will also give it the icon of that process. So it'll give it the PowerShell icon. So what we want to do for that is grab our variable here, which is the notif and do a dot icon and we're going to make that equal to a square bracket system dot drawing dot icon and then a double colon and we're going to do extract associated icon and we're going to put in the path here and if we actually go ahead and we run this we will see that we do get something back it, we don't actually see the picture PowerShell is, of course, all text space here in the console, um, but that will actually put us with the PowerShell icon in our notification that we'll see very shortly. Now, the next thing is that we need to add into our notification, which will, again, greatly use the use, uh, help the user, is a good icon to let them know if it's like an information, a warning, an error of some sort, some text, and a title for the notification. So let's go ahead and let's add in the icon first here. So let's do our notif. And then that is actually gonna be a balloon tip icon. So as you can see, I don't have the dot references yet. So I haven't created the object. So let's just go ahead, let's create the object that will at least help with the autocomplete in Visual Studio Code. So now that we have that, we can select balloon tip icon. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a square bracket here. And we're going to do it. It's going to be equal to a system dot windows dot forms dot tool tip icon and then a colon colon. Now you're not going to see a lot of options in here once again. So what I like to do is I just like to put a W and then hit backspace and we're going to get all the different icons that we can get. So we can do an error information, none or warning. So let's go ahead and let's just say it's an info one that we're going to create at first. And then what we need to do is just add some text and add a title and then go ahead and display that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a notif dot balloon tip text and let's go ahead and let's make that equal to a double quote this is to let you know the script is done and then let's go ahead and let's create a little title here and then what i like to do for the title actually is i like to just put um, you can either put the username. Um, so as we know in PowerShell, we can actually reference uh, the environment variable and do the username. So that will put in the actual username of the user. So if we go ahead and we run that, we'll see that I get jacked programmer. So maybe you can say like attention jacked programmer. Um, or what I like to do is really put the name of the script that's executing. Uh, you can do that as well something to really let your users know that something is going on and maybe a little bit more detail of what exactly that you're referencing. So uh, maybe I will do like a script for AD users, let's say. And that's going to be that. And then we're going to go ahead and we are going to make the notification dot visible is going to be equal to true then the only thing we have left to do is actually that notification do the show balloon tip and here you're going to put a number in my experience the number that you put in here is supposed to be the number of milliseconds that you get to show the notification for for me it seems to always show for the same amount of time um, so it, it is something that was mostly used in Windows 10, um, and this machine is a Windows 11 machine, so that could be a little different. Um, but I usually just end up putting the default, which is the default minimum, which is 10,000, which is supposed to show for about 10 seconds. I find that this usually ends up showing for about 7 seconds in my um, experience. So once we actually have all of this, let's go ahead and let's run this here. And we will actually see, if I just move out of the way here, we actually get our little notification. We can see our little PowerShell icon, our PowerShell uh, PS, PWSH. We can see our title. We can also see the text there as well. So as you can see, my mouse is on there, so it's not going to time out. Uh, but if I remove my mouse, it will automatically uh, time out, it should automatically go away. And there it is, it just disappeared. Um, so while your mouse is on there, it won't actually time out. So if the user needs to read something in case you've put in a lot of text, they will get that opportunity to do that. So as an example here, let's go ahead and let's loop through a bunch of these different files. And let's just actually output to the user the contents of those files. Now, this is definitely not something that you would really do in a production environment. Uh, it's probably not super useful to display uh, contents of text messages uh, of text files in notifications, uh, but it can definitely be done. So let's go ahead and let's just create a variable called files. And we're going to make that equal to get child item. And we're going to pass in the path. And all we're going to do is we're going to pass in this path of this folder here, which I have three text files in. And then all we're going to do is do a for each. And let's do a for each file in files. And let's do a open and close curly bracket. Cut the code and put that in here. And then inside for the text here, all I would actually do is do the get content path and then file dot full name and that will get us the contents of the file and maybe this will be uh, content of 
and then we can put the file dot name. So if we actually go ahead and we run this here, we will actually see the uh, content of test.txt and we get test file one. And we will see that we should get a bunch of other ones very shortly here. There is our other one content of test two dot txt test file two, and then content of test three dot text test file three. And if we go look at them, you can see that, that is the actual contents within them. Now, another thing would be if you have a long script that you don't necessarily are really keeping track of because you're doing other things while the script is running. What is very nice is you can actually put this at the end of your script or if an error happens and have it pop up a little uh, notification icon to let you know that the, the script has errored out or the script is actually complete and change the different icons. So as we've seen for this here, we can actually see that the icons are the information icon. But what we can actually do as well is change this to error and we can actually see that we get a nice x here and we can actually even change this to uh, warning and we will get a little yellow triangle so if it's not something that is a complete script killer maybe put it as a warning if it's something that definitely stops your script from running put it in like a red um in the error and then if it's something that just says hey the script is done uh, or some information is being processed uh, you can just leave it on the info or you can have it as none and there just won't be any icons there but that is how you can actually create some notifications with powershell which can be very handy to let users know on the progress of the scripts that they're executing if you guys have any comments or questions please let me know in the comment section down below I try to answer all of you guys um, as much as I possibly can. And if it's something that can benefit a lot of people, I will usually try to make a video this way. A lot of people can benefit from it. Please also be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out. And I will see you guys on the next video.